I've got products from the new Vive makeup range to share with you guys today. And Vive was created by Jamie Genevieve here on YouTube, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. And it was just kind of a surprise deal. I was scrolling Instagram and seeing that she was, you know, creating a range. And I got really excited about it because I think she has really good taste in makeup. And I also really enjoy her makeup style. So I was super excited that she was creating a range. So I purchased the highlighter, the eyeshadow palette, two lip liners, and a lipstick off of the Vive dot co dot uk website and you can do like the conversion from pounds to us but the palette is 42 pounds which i think is just around like 58 dollars the liners are 15 pounds the highlighter is 27 pounds and the lipsticks are 19 pounds and i feel like for the quality of the product that you're getting and the amount i'll talk about that in a minute <laughs> that it's priced really well but right now they do have free worldwide delivery on orders over 65 pounds is what it says on the website there. I also did a demo with these products, which will be towards the end of the video if you're interested in seeing how these products perform for me and kind of how I got the look that's on my face. So they came in a really like flat cardboard box. It was kind of interesting. And then inside was this card right here. And initially when I first looked at this, I thought that that was Zendaya, which I just love her, but it, I don't think it is. I think it's a model, but it's a really pretty image. And then on the back of the card, it says, thank you for joining our Vive community with a couple other things. All products are designed to make it easy for you to take Take your makeup from effortless to experimental. We aim to create beautiful formulas made to work combining luxurious products and performance staples to feel like treasures in your makeup collection. I kind of feel like that too because of the way the packaging looks. Um, so let's talk about the packaging. I'll show you the eyeshadow palette first. This is how it comes and it's like a, a matte feeling cardboard with a gold shiny border on it. It's very like it feels very sophisticated. The whole range kind of gave me Victoria Beckham vibes and like also kind of 90s supermodel vibes which I just am totally into. So this is the eyeshadow palette and then there's a bit of information on the back here and then the palette slides out like that. And this palette is made in Italy. The highlighter is made in Italy. The lipstick is made in Italy but the lip pencils are made in Germany. So this is the packaging on the palette. It's kind of got a faux leather feel to it and then there's like a little um kind of it looks like a metal plate but it's like a a plastic piece right there that makes it just look really again sophisticated and then you open it up and there's a really substantially sized mirror in there that folds nicely all the way back and then you have got 10 eyeshadows now the crazy thing about this is i think that these pans are the largest size pans that i have probably in my entire collection they are come with a massive amount of product. Each shade is 3.1 grams of product or 0.11 ounces per shade, which that's just short of being like the size of a standard blush. <laughs> so you're really getting a ton of product. And if these are shades that you like, um, like use constantly, this may be the only shadow palette that you'll ever need <laughs> because the, I mean, it will last you forever. There's just so much product in here. I've worn this palette quite a few times so far and the blend on these shadows is so easy. That's one of the things that I noticed right off the bat was how easy all of these eyeshadows were to use. They just blend out really easy. They're very pigmented, just very easy to work with eyeshadows. So just today as I was using this palette, I went into the shade Glimmer and I had noticed that it was kind of making a little noise in the palette and I was like, I thought for a minute that they were magnetized, but they're not. Um, they are glued inside. Mine just uh, came loose, which for me, it's an easy fix just to glue it back in the pan. But then it also kind of got me thinking, maybe it'll be easy to pull these all out of the palette and put them in a magnetic palette or make them magnetic and just put them back in this palette. I don't know, I don't know. I might just glue it back in because the packaging on this is so pretty, but I did want to make note of that. I'm kind of scared that if I tip it, it's gonna fall over. So I might, after I swatch it, just pull it out and set it to the side so I can swatch the rest of the shades. I did have a little bit of fallout with a few of the shades, but it wasn't a massive amount by any means and it brushed right off my cheeks. But other than that, I really got along with this formula. I love the shades in here. They're that very grungy, smoky vibe. I love these mustard colors and this yellow, just a really pretty combination of eyeshadows. There's a lighter matte, a lighter shimmer, which is something I always like in a palette for underneath the brow and on my lid. You got some mid-tone, shimmers and then you got some deep shades and some mid-tone mattes. It's just a really well correlated palette. When I try new makeup brands that work this well, I always get so excited for what the brand is going to come out with next. And like I was thinking about, it, I'm like, Jamie Genevieve, she really loves bronzing and bronze. So I'm like, I bet that's one of her next products. I really hope so because I love the highlighter as well. So you've got seven matte eyeshadows in here and then the three kind of shimmers. You've got So Shy, Buff, Lava Rock, Chow, Cozy, Delicious, and Goodnight. Those are all the mattes. And then you got Carrot and Thea 
and Glimmer, which are your shimmer shades. Now for me, the shimmers in this palette are very tame. Um, they're very beautiful shimmers, but I'm so used to using like over the top, you can see me from the moon style shimmer, metallic, shiny shades. <laughs> These are very tame for me. They're still very beautiful nonetheless, but I I'm just not used to using shades like this on the lid because I've been using those, you know, ever so intense, extremely high shine shadows for so long, <laughs> but they are very pretty. I love the looks that come out of this palette when I just use this palette by itself, but I am excited, which is going to be my next step when I use this palette to incorporate some of those wicked like JD Glow shimmers, those multi-chromes, like the metallics and stuff like that. I think that's going to be so pretty with the matte shades in this palette, but with those shimmers, if you're not crazy about that ultra shine, these shimmers are beautiful and they're very easy to use and very easy to wear. Um, I will say that Carrot and Thea do have extremely fine micro glitters in them, so I would use some Something a little bit tacky like on the lid and stuff to get those to adhere. I don't get any fallout on my cheeks or anything like that throughout the day when I use them. I do use kind of a more tacky um, eyeshadow primer anyway. But let me go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches of this guy. I pulled this one out because I don't want it to fall out when I hold up the palette. But this is the shade Glimmer, which is a really pretty golden champagne. And I'll blend it just a bit here. So there's the shade Glimmer. Um, now we'll get into the rest of the shades. I love this matte brow bone highlight in there too. So we'll go ahead and swatch this guy. And then this is one of the other shades with some micro glitter. This one's a matte. And there's the other shimmer shade with a bit of micro glitter in there. blend out here. And then these next shades, this one is a matte, and then the next four are all mattes as well. see in the swatches as well that the formulation of these is a really soft kind of formula um, but it's still substantial it's not like the that real dry dusty type of a formula it's just a a softer formula but it definitely has some nice substance and pigmentation to it and then the black which is very very black I blew the remainder of that off my arm there so you can kind of see the swatches a little bit better but I do like you guys to be able to see when I swatch those, you know, if there's some crumbling down, because I feel like it, through the lens, it gives you a better idea of the formula, if that makes sense. But there are the swatches right there. I just really love the shade selection in this palette. I don't think I mentioned the name of the palette. It's called the Essential Palette, which is fitting because there's very like essential kind of shades in there. And then I did read on all the packaging, it says vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, and gluten-free, which is pretty neat. So next up, we've got the Vive Nova Glow Highlighter. And this thing also comes with a massive amount of product. There's 0.42 ounces of product or 12 grams in a highlighter. So same style packaging on this guy. And then you also got the same style of packaging as the eyeshadow palette, but just really sleek and pretty. And there's the sticker on the back right there. And then here is your highlighter. Like initially when I first saw this, I was like, wow, that kind of looks really golden and almost kind of yellow, but on the skin, it pulls a little bit more icy. So it's more of like a champagne as opposed to like a golden shimmer. And then also when I first looked at this, I saw um, particles in there which I thought that those were micro glitters I was like what I didn't think that she would ever put micro glitters in a highlighter you know what I mean but they're actually pieces of mica that are kind of stuck together that look almost like micro glitters because when I buff this into the skin there's other highlighters I've mentioned before once you really buff them into the skin and break those particles apart they look almost glass like on the skin that's the same with this highlighter so when I put it on it kind of looks more particle like on the skin but when I buff it into the skin those particles break apart and you're just left with a really beautiful sheen on the skin I just think this highlighter is really really pretty you can also kind of control the intensity with this highlighter by how much product that you pick up and 
and use like you can use a little bit for a little sheen or you can really kind of pack it on like I did and get a, a more like reflective kind of icy type of highlighter which is something that I love so there was a, a V oh you can still see it in there the V embossed in me powder there but it's a really pretty highlighter it's very smooth feeling And it's totally light enough for my skin tone too, which is something that I was worried about. Was it being too dark? It's so like light enough for my skin tone. I was even contemplating trying out the middle shade because I believe there are three shades of highlighter available. Because I could like in the summertime almost go for maybe something a little bit more golden even than this. But you can see kind of the little bit of icy champagne to this highlighter. But it's stunning. It's really stunning. So that is the Vive Nova Glow Highlighter. And the name of this one is Bijou, which is the lightest of the three shades available. Next up, we have got the lip liners. The packaging, again, is similar to the others. Again, these are made in Germany and the other products are made in Italy. So the liner that I have on my lips today is the liner in Velvet Sands. I really like these lip liners as well. They have a nice long wearing formula, but they're not that like gel kind that dries down like kind of cement that leaves a ring around your mouth. They wear nicely through the day, which is something I really enjoy about like the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners is that they last well, but they also wear nicely throughout the day without leaving like that ring around your mouth. So this is the shade Velvet Sands, and this is the one that I have on today. And then I'm going to swatch the other one below it and put the lipstick in the middle so you can kind of compare the lipstick to these two lip liners. So that one's Velvet Sands. And then the other one I got is the shade Brat, which is a little bit more uh, rosy than Velvet Sands. But still a nice nude liner. So that's Brat and that's Velvet Sands. And the amount of product that you get with these guys is 0 0.042 ounces or 1.2 grams. And then here's what the packaging looks like. It is a sharpen style pencil, which I like with these type of formulas. They tend to last a little bit longer like that. And then the modern matte lipstick that I got is the shade Treasure. This is three grams of product or 0.1 ounces. Um, I also ordered the shade Vive, which I wanted to get that one too, but when I placed my order, it was sold out and it was still sold out on the website. And I went to Cult Beauty because their brand is also available on Cult Beauty. And I ordered it there. And I think my order's lost. <laughs> For some reason, I think they shipped it to Malta. I did contact them and they're trying to fix it and stuff, but hopefully I'll get that one soon because <laughs> I really do like this lipstick formula. So I'm wearing the shade Treasure on my lips today with the Velvet Sands lip liner. So here is the lipstick packaging. It is a magnetic closure. And then you've got the V on top for Vive. Nice attention to detail there. Um, the, this packaging kind of gives me Tom Ford vibes. They're not quite as weighted as like a Tom Ford lipstick, but they feel still feel nice. And then the lipstick itself has got Vive on there in the bullet. And these have got a slight, a slight sweet scent that's really pleasing. Like I, I like the scent that they put in these. It's not a vanilla. It's almost like a a kind of a creme brulee type smell, which which is really nice. It's not very strong, but it is in there. The formulation does contain silicones in it, which gives it that real comfortable feel on the lips. And this is a really comfortable feeling matte lipstick. Um, oftentimes with a lighter matte silicone based lipstick, I'll get them settling into my lip lines. And this does just a little bit, but all I have to do is kind of rub my lips together just a little bit and that goes away. So it wears really nicely for a light matte lipstick. Uh, I'll put a little more on here. It's a, it's almost got like a little bit of a, uh, an orange undertone to it. But I love the shade. I think it looks great with that lip liner too. So I'm going to put it in between these two lip liners so you can kind of see what it would look like with the other one as well. Because you can really customize a lipstick shade based off the lip liner that you're using with it. But it's a really pretty lipstick. So that's the shade that I got in Treasure right there. So those are all the products that I got. Congratulations to Jamie on her launch of her brand. I'm really excited for the things that she has in store for us in the future because this range right here is very, very nice. It feels luxe too. It's just a really nice range. Now, if you're interested in seeing the look that's on my face and how these products went on for me, you can hang tight and we will get into it right now. Using a Chikahoto T6 brush, I am going to go into the highlighter in Bijou 
which is a golden champagne and put that on as a highlighter. There are some like larger uh, particles in here, but they break apart when you buff them on the skin. So I'm just going to really give it a good buffing on the cheek there. A little right here. Then I'm going to go in with this Wayne Goss face brush and use the Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder. And this is in the shade Drawn In, which is the lightest of the two they have available. So I'm just going to bronze my face up with this guy, starting on the cheekbone here. And I like to bring it on the forehead and on the jawline here. Also take a little bit on the ear. Then using this Chickahoto brush from one of the holiday sets, I'm going to go into the Patrick Ta She's Passionate blush. And I'm going to use this guy as a blush. Then I'm going to take that T6 brush again and go over um, the top of the cheeks to really blend the highlighter into the blush there. I'm not going to pick up any more product though, but I always like this really blended. Then using a Chikohoto powder brush, I'm going to go into the Guerlain Meteorites to finish. And I've actually got the shade number four, Doré or Golden, which is a deeper shade than the one that I normally use just because I want a little bit more color to my face. But I'm going to use this guy right here to finish off the face and just really buff all the products into the skin with this powder. So I just take this and I run it all over. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take this Rare Beauty Concealer Brush and the CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless Foundation in 200. And I'm going to prime my eyes from the lash line to up underneath the brow with this guy. And I just kind of tap it in like as if this brush was my finger. Sometimes I use my finger, but I really like this brush for that. Then I'm going to use this Chikahoto brush, which is also from a holiday set, and go into the shade Glimmer in the eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to put this on the first part of the lid. This one here is loose in the pan, like, or in the palette. I wonder if these are magnetic. They're not magnetic. Mine just kind of fell out. It's glued in there. But anyway, that's the, the Glimmer shade that I'm putting on um, on the first part of the lid right here. And I'm going to kind of bring it in a third of the way. Then using that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Thea, which is a golden bronze, and put that over the rest of the lid and blend it into that gold. Just a teeny bit of fallout here, not bad though. Using another holiday set Chikohoto brush, this is like the GSN 9. I'm going to go into the shade Delicious, which is this one right here. I'm going to gently pick up the teeniest amount of the black and then go back into that brown just to deepen it up a little bit. I'm going to put this through the crease. Then using a Sonia G Mini Booster Brush, I'm going to go into the shade Buff right here and start blending out that crease shade. And these shadows, oh, they blend out so nice. It's very, very easy to blend these out. Got a little bit of fallout here again. Then using an Isom G29 brush, I'm going to go into the matte shade So Shy and put that underneath the brow bone. Kind of run it in the front too.
Then I'm going to go back in with that Sonia G Mini Booster into the shade Chow and put that up here. And kind of run it up to the base of the front of the brow. Take that GSN 9 and further buff these out here. I'm not picking up any more product though. Using a Wayne Goss number 20 brush, I'm going to pick up just a bit of Cozy too. Put a little bit more warmth right through here. Yeah, I like that. And there's the eyeshadow done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I've got the Modern Lip Definer in the shade Velvet Sands. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this and kind of fade it inwards. And then to fill them in, I've got the Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure, which is a warm nude. And I like to take it right over the lip liner to the edge. And there is the overall finished look using the new Vive makeup range from Jamie Genevieve. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.